Hello, I'm Jason Lusk, a professor and head of the Agricultural Economics Department here at Purdue University. I'm delighted to welcome you to the award ceremony for our department for the 2020-2021 academic school year. By all accounts, this has been an unusual and in many ways trying school year because of COVID, classes being moved online and limiting some of the normal activities that we've been able to do. But as we'll learn throughout the course of this awards program, Many students have found a way to thrive and excel during this unusual time period. I wanna just start by giving you a few updates about the department and mention some changes that we'll have going forward. We had a large number of retirements this year of faculty that will be departing in either 2020 or 2021. These include Tim Baker, Bo Ballou, Craig Dobbins, Jim Eels, Joan Fulton, Chris Hurt, Paul Preckle, Marshall Martin, and John Sanders. I know many of you probably had some of these folks for class. They'll be sorely missed, uh, and I'm sad to see them go. We also look forward to the opportunity to replace some of those folks and bring new faculty into the department and uh, bring some new perspectives and fresh ideas for how we teach, how we do research, and, and uh, how we do our outreach and extension programs going forward. Another important development uh, for us going forward is that this spring and summer, we've started a renovation of the fifth floor. We're creating a new undergraduate advising and welcoming center. And my hope is that this will be a place that you can go to, relax, meet and see your friends, and perhaps do a little bit of studying too. The spot will have couches, uh, chairs, seating. It'll have a few enclosed um, conference spaces so that you can work on home homework, perhaps with your teammates. And in addition to that new undergraduate advising space on the fifth floor here in Craner, we're also going to renovate the break room, uh, or also more, uh, probably better called a collaborative workspace that's just around the corner from that advising space. So I think this is a really exciting development uh, that's been enabled by the generosity of some important donors to the department. And I think, I'm hoping this will be, create an environment for our students so that it'll be a place you can go to and, and, uh, and, and thrive and be a part of the department. Uh, in addition uh, to that, I think I also wanted to, to note, even though this award ceremony is mainly about the students, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that a couple of our academic advisors received some awards this year as well. Andy Oppie won the Outstanding Advisor across the entire Purdue campus, and Joe Thomas was named the Best New Advisor on campus. So it is new, no joke, no exaggeration to say that here in the Department of Agricultural Economics, we have the best advisors on campus. So at this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Scott Downey, who's gonna share a few words. Hi, on behalf of the faculty, I wanna welcome you all to this wonderful event. Uh, obviously, it would be more wonderful if we could be uh, together face to face, but I'm excited to be a part of it uh, in this small way. So uh, it is humbling for me as a faculty member to be able to engage with all of you. Uh, I am continually proud to be able to interact and uh, be with uh, students who I know will one day, uh, and many of you are already, be leaders uh, in the industry and in your professions. And uh, I'm just very cognizant of how terrific you all are as I travel around uh, the world and see Purdue grads who are graduates of this program and across campus uh, to recognize how all of you perform uh, relative to others in the university. We're privileged to have great people uh, all across the university, but you guys really stand out. And I think that gets recognized today. So uh, congratulations to all of you for being here. Hello, my name is Trent Howard. I'm a senior in agribusiness management, and today I'm going to be talking about AggieCon Envoys. I have been an AggieCon Envoys for three years. During this program, I've had the opportunity to be involved with many experiences inside and outside of the College of Agriculture. We have been able to serve the greater Lafayette area through the local food finders program and meet with current AggieCon faculty, which allows them to share insight and some of their experiences. Now, my favorite activity that we do is during the springtime when we reach out to current high school seniors who are interested in the College of Ag. During this time, I'm able to brag about how truly phenomenal the AggieCon department is and help convince them that Purdue is the best fit for them. 
I am ever grateful for the opportunities that AggieCon Envoys has afforded me. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Carter and I am the president of the Agribusiness Club this year. Uh, this semester and last semester we've had bi-weekly meetings that have mostly consisted of guest speakers. So we've heard from companies such as Corteva, Bain Welker, First Farmers Bank and Trust, and then several more. In the spring, in the fall semester, we had a um, apparel sale as a fundraiser, and we sold College of Ag apparel. And then we also had a Christmas party and did giveaways at the end of that um, last semester. So for the spring semester, we've had our normal meetings with guest speakers, and then we've also had the opportunity to tour the Purdue Beef Farm. So we did that. A lot of students hadn't been there before, so that was really fun. And then we were also setting up another tour to tour, hopefully the aquatics farm later this semester as well. So that's what the Agribusiness Club has been up to this year. Hello, my name is Dr. Brady Brewer and I'm faculty here in the Department of Agricultural Economics. And I just want to say a big congrats to everyone being recognized uh, at this particular ceremony. We are proud to have you as part of the AgEcon family. I know with the work I have done advising the National Agricultural Marketing Association, uh, I have seen the hard work they put into their club, and I know that each and every one of you do that for all of your endeavors, whether it be here in the Department of Ag Econ, the College of Ag, or the university in general. So with that, a big congratulations for your accomplishments. Hello, my name is Jacob Madden. I'm the serving president for Purdue's chapter of the National Agri-Marketing Association, or NAMA for short. NAMA is a national organization where different universities from across the country come together to compete with different marketing plans that they have developed. Our marketing plan for this year revolves around spirit-infused cookie dough. We've been working on this product for the past seven months and are excited to compete with it at the, at the competition in April. Purdue's chapter currently consists of 17 different members and all of us would like to thank the faculty and staff for supporting us over this past year. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Haley Fisher. I am a part of the AAEA Quiz Bowl, which stands for the Agricultural and Applied Economic Association Academic Bowl. So what we do is we meet every Wednesday to study six main economic topics, including macroeconomics, microeconomics, Quant, resources slash policy, marketing, management, and an extra category is potpourri. We spend most of our Wednesdays presenting and quizzing each other on these topics using Kahoot and other resources to prep ourselves for the competition, which is in August, 1st of August this year in Austin, Texas. I just want to give a huge thank you to Dr. Nathan DeLay for taking over this position and for taking the time to practice with us and giving us all the resources to practice and give us guidance along the way. Thank you for that and boiler up. Hello, I'm Dr. Nicole Whitmar and I'm thrilled to be able to be here tonight to recognize your engagement and leadership in the Department of Agricultural Economics. Congratulations to those of you receiving scholarships. Uh, we're thrilled to see the hard work and dedication of our students recognized in this way. I currently serve as the Associate Department Head and I mainly oversee our Master's and PhD programs, but I've also had the pleasure of working with many of you in AgEcon 310, so Intro to Farm Management, and I have a particularly lucky role in that I am able to work with some of you as you explore undergraduate research or consider next steps after graduation and whether graduate studies or advanced degree programs might be a fit for your intended career path. Ultimately, we're here tonight to celebrate your successes and it's a great honor for me to be able to tell you on behalf of myself and the faculty of Ag Econ that we're proud of you and thrilled to have you as a part of our Ag Econ department family. Hi, I'm Dane Erickson. Since the beginning of my junior year, I've done undergraduate research with Dr. Carson Reeling in the area of environmental economics. Through this experience, I've had the opportunity to work on two projects, one assessing the economic impact of chronic wasting disease in the white-tailed deer herd of Wisconsin, and another working with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources using choice experiment surveys to evaluate hunting license pricing. Through this experience, I have found out what I want to do and following graduation, I will be pursuing a master's degree to work on similar research projects. I want to thank Dr. Reeling for all of his help, encouragement, and introducing me to the field that I hope to make a career out of.
Hey everyone, grateful for the opportunity to connect with you today. My name is Molly Grojohn and I'm a current junior studying agribusiness. Throughout my time so far at Purdue, I have just been so thankful to get involved and serve organizations both in and out of the Agricultural Economics Department and College of Agriculture. My experiences in these organizations have been transformational and instrumental as a Boilermaker. As a member of Purdue Foundation Student Board, Old Masters, and the current president of the Purdue Grand Prix Foundation, I have fostered connections with some of the brightest Boilermakers on campus, learned how to adapt this past year due to COVID-19, and developed professional skills that will carry with me far beyond life after Purdue. I certainly would encourage you all to get involved within organizations during your time at Purdue. And I've realized this year has not been normal, but getting involved with organizations, like I recently mentioned, creates a fruitful Boilermaker experience and demonstrates how truly vast the Boilermaker community is. Boiler up and hail Purdue. Hello, my name is Grace Hassler and I'm currently a junior double majoring in agricultural economics and agricultural communication. My favorite story of resilience about Purdue is after our bell tower burnt down, we rebuilt it in 1895, one row of bricks higher than when it burned down. For me, reaching for one row higher has meant involvement in transformational experiences such as the Issues 360 program, where we talked about controversial topics in agriculture, a study abroad to Cap Haitian Haiti, where I taught Haitian students about ag practices in the United States, and most recently being named the campus ambassador, followed by student advisory team member of the Agriculture Future of America organization. This summer, I also went to DC with a public policy stipend from the College of Agriculture. In the middle of COVID, the staff, community, and students here at Purdue did an incredible job of encouraging me to reach one brick higher to intern in the White House and have a successful six weeks in Washington. I would encourage you to reach one brick higher with the Ag Econ and Agriculture opportunities available here at Purdue. We'll begin with announcing our outstanding students in the Department of Agricultural Economics. We have many great students in the department, but we also have an opportunity to honor four students associated with uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. So here are the nominees for our outstanding freshmen. Our winner this year of the outstanding freshman is Cassidy Oliger. Cassidy is from Hagerstown, Indiana. She's a Purdue trustees and Lilly scholar, and she had an excellent first semester academically and plans to pursue minors in animal science and farm management, while also completing a certificate in entrepreneurship and innovation. She has been very busy her freshman year. Cassidy attended the 2020 Ag Futures of America Leadership Conference, pledged Sigma Alpha Agricultural Sorority, was selected to the Agricultural Council and is an active member in the Purdue Dairy Club. Congratulations to Cassidy. And now we'll see the nominees for our outstanding sophomore in the Department of Agricultural Economics. The winner of our outstanding sophomore is Haley Fisher. Haley is from Millersburg, Indiana. She's seeking a degree in Agricultural Economics with a quantitative analysis concentration and also a degree in political science with a concentration in international relations. She's also seeking minors in psychology, global food and agricultural systems. Haley has loved research since she was introduced to the idea during her junior year in high school. She's participated in the Molecular, Summer, Molecular Agricultural Summer Institute and was selected as a 2019 Borlaug Ruan International Intern, where she spent a summer in Mexico. As a freshman, she participated in the Big Idea Challenge and the Global Food and Energy Sustainability Research Project. And she's also starting her undergraduate research program with me and plans to do some work uh, on milk and non-dairy alternatives and consumer perceptions of those foods. In her first two years, Haley has shown that she's determined to experience all Purdue has to offer. She's completed a study abroad to Purdue, pledged Phi Beta Phi, where she currently serves as our policy and standards board and is a member of the conduct committee. She serves as a College of Ag ambassador, is on Ag Council, and is a mentor for freshmen in the agricultural economics. Congratulations to Haley. 
And now we'll see the nominees for our outstanding junior in the Department of Agricultural Economics. The winner of this year's outstanding junior in the department is Grace Hassler. Grace is from Columbus, Indiana. She's a Purdue Presidential and Lilly Endowment Community Scholar. She's completing her BS in both sales and marketing and agricultural, uh, agricultural communications. She's also participating in the Farm Credit Mid-America Scholars two-year program, which includes a week-long learning and travel experience each summer. She's complemented her education with service learning acti activity to a study abroad in Haiti. With a strong interest to enhance her leadership, Grace has attended the Ag Futures of America Leadership Conference her freshman year, and she enjoyed the program so much she returned for her sophomore year and was elected as a campus ambassador for 2020. Grace is extremely involved across the College of Agriculture in many different facets. She's a member of the Purdue Agricultural Council, an Issues 360 Fellow, and serves as an International Agriculture Ambassador. Grace is also involved with the C-SPAN Center for Scholarship and Engagement Student Community. In this capacity, she engages with peers and C-SPAN founder Brian Lamb about current political issues. This summer, Grace will travel back to Washington, D.C. with the College of Ag Kate Public Policy Program. Congratulations to Grace. And now we'll see the nominees for the outstanding senior in the Department of Agricultural Economics. The winner of the Outstanding Senior in the department is Kayla Fogg from Rushville, Indiana. She's completing a BS in agribusiness with minors in animal science and farm management while also completing the Certificate in Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Kayla has been very active in the College of Ag, serving on the Ag Week Task Force for three years and she served for two years on Ag Council and served on the Spring Fest and Moonlight Pancake Breakfast Committees. At the university level, Kayla started her leadership roles with the Rising Professionals, and as a junior, she was selected to the Purdue Foundation Student Board. As a senior, Kayla was also selected to the Barbara Cook Chapter of the Mortarboard Class of 2021. In this organization, she has served on the committee developing leadership opportunities for undergraduate students and promoting service to the community. Congratulations to Kayla. And now I'd like to announce the outstanding academic senior, Pete Drost. Pete is from Petersburg, Ontario, Canada. He's completing his BS in agribusiness with a minor in crop science. He's an active member in Farmhouse Fraternity, and he completed the Discovering Agribusiness Learning Community. He completed a six month, in month internship with Farm Credit Canada and plans to continue his education next year in a master's program. Congratulations to Pete. Now is a part of the program where we get to honor some scholarship recipients. Before doing that, though, I do want to say thank you to the generous donations of many of our alumni and other people throughout the state and the country who have donated to the department that make these scholarships possible for our students. These scholarships are really important for our students in the department. It allows us to recruit students. Uh, sometimes we're in competitive battles with other schools and for the students that receive these scholarships. I know it makes a big difference in their ability to afford school and to pursue activities that they probably wouldn't be able to do otherwise were it not for the generous support of our scholarship donors. Here in the department just this year in 2021, we're going to give 55 scholarships uh, amounting to over $160,000 from 24 different scholarships. These include 19 returning recipients of the Dr. Leland Edward Ott Memorial Scholarship. And these totals are in addition to a number of scholarships from the College of Agriculture and the university. So to kick off this part of the awards program related to scholarships, I thought it would be useful for you to be able to hear from both some of our scholarship donors and from the students who have received those scholarships. So uh, from the donors, Don and jo Joyce Vilwalk and Jill and Casey Zellner are going to share a few words talking to you about why they chose to give and what they hope to accomplish with, with their gifts. And then from the recipient side, we're going to hear from Kayla Fogg and Cole Peer Pearson, who are both students here in the Department of Agricultural Economics, to share their thoughts on the impact of those awards in their lives and activities as students. 
Hello, I'm Don Billwalk, and this is my wife, Joyce. We met at Purdue, and both of our daughters graduated from Purdue also. We have a lot of black and gold in our family. We're here to congratulate you on your academic achievements. We know you had to overcome a lot of obstacles this year to get this done, but that's what boilers do. Both Joyce and I were involved in a lot of student activities while on campus. They have proven to be extremely beneficial in our professional careers. We encourage you to do the same. And we also say good luck and boiler up. Hey Boilermakers, on behalf of the Zellers, we want to congratulate you on all the success that you've had during this challenging season. Continue to work hard inside and outside the classroom, but most importantly, make sure to enjoy your experience here at Purdue. Congratulations on a great year. Boiler, Boiler up! Hello, my name is Cole Pearson. I'm currently a junior in agribusiness management, and I wanted to take a moment to thank the scholarship donors for the scholarships that I've received here at Purdue. Because of those scholarships, I've been able to show students around Purdue and convince them that this is the best school to come to as an Ag Ambassador. I've worked with student organizations to improve their alumni relations with Purdue Foundation Student Board, and I will be supporting scholarship, leadership, and service as a mortar board member this next year. I wanna thank you for your donations that have put me in this position to be able to do those things and serve our community so well. Boiler up, hammer down, hail Purdue, and thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Caleb Fogg and I'm a senior in the Agigon department. I want to say thank you to the countless number of donors that have left a positive impact on my own college career as well as impacting thousands of others, past, current, and future students. Your generosity and commitment to Purdue College of Ag students provide tremendous value to our college success. Your monetary gifts have helped ease the cost of attending college and allowed me to focus on my academics and involvement across campus. Thank you for all that you do and showing me what it truly means to be a Boilermaker. Boiler up and hammer down. So without further ado, here are the scholarship award winners in the Department of Agricultural Economics for the year 2021. The Bartlett Family Scholarship in Agricultural Economics goes to Peyton Hines. The Brent and Stacy Bible Scholarship in Agricultural Economics goes to Noah Berning and Logan Drake. The Dr. Clarence F. Jr. and Martha E. Devon Scholarship in Agricultural Economics goes to Jacob Madden. The R. Dean Dyson Memorial Scholarship goes to Joshua Wagenbach. The Dr. Steve Erickson Memorial Scholarship goes to Owen Kuhn and Ellie Schuler. The Farmers National Company Foundation Scholarship is awarded to Caitlin Taylor. The winner of the Lighten M. and Helen May Geyer Scholarship in Agricultural Economics is Kenton Kamen. The Matthias Hartman Family Scholarship goes to Jessica Peterson. The Chrissy Cartmel Indiana Challenge Match in Agricultural Economics Scholarship goes to Jayla Rosen and Zoe Nobby. The winners of the Jim and Nita Hicks Undergraduate Scholarship in Agricultural Economics are Haley Fisher, Cole Pearson, Marguerite Thomas, Miriam Cook, Ashley Porter, Brooke Luking, Brooke Evans, and Molly Grojon. The Syngenta Ag Scholarship Endowment Scholarship goes to Brianna Caldwell, Heidi Spear, and Jaden Trebet. The Robert Taylor Farm Management Excellence Scholarship goes to Taylor Goss. The Indiana Challenge Match Scholarship for Agricultural Economics goes to Luke Stockdale. The Indiana Challenge Scholarship goes to Mackenzie Smith. The winners of the Indiana Society of Farm Managers and Rural Appraisers Scholarship goes to Kyle Colbert and Owen Kuhn. The Marshall A. Martin Public Policy Scholarship is awarded to Laura Barrett. The Neidlinger Family Scholarship goes to Austin Conrad. The Raymond Mick Ortman Scholarship in Agricultural Economics is awarded to Ethan Wishmeyer and Jaden Redder. The J. William and Helen Urig Education Scholarship is awarded to Austin Berenda and Ethan Buck. The winner of the F. Van Smith Scholarship is David Taylor. The Don and Joyce Vilwalk Scholarship 
is awarded to Kathleen Trimble and Abigail Meyer. The Casey and Jill Zeller Scholarship in Agricultural Economics is awarded to Claire Bainey. Thank you again to all of our scholarship donors and congratulations to all of our scholarship winners. At this point, I wanna end up and round out our program from hearing a word from our outstanding undergraduate student advisors. Congratulations, Ag Econ students. We are so proud of you. We hope you enjoyed the recognition tonight of all your accomplishments. We're so glad to have you as part of the department. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.